Hello everybody, my name is Brent Johnson and I'm with Heartfeel Automation. Last week we talked about the BNR Compact Desk Controller and how you go about putting an IP address on here. This week we're going to talk about how we would add inputs and outputs such as a digital input card and a digital output card to our project, then physically put it on this controller, then check to see if it's added through the systems diagnostic management tool that is native to all BNR controllers. So let's go ahead and open up our project in Automation Studio. First, we, we, need, we want to search for the hardware that we're going to add. In order to do so, we want to click on the X2X portion in the physical view. We want to make sure we're clicked on that. And we want to make sure that's where we're going to add it to. That's where, that just to recap, the X2X is the backplane protocol that BNR uses for a lot of their I.O. So, once you're clicked on that, go over to the tool, the search box, toolbox, and we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna enter in our first card that we're gonna search for. So what I've got here is an X20 DI6372. X20 DI6372. DI stands for digital input. So you'll see once I enter that in the search bar, you can go ahead and double click on it. And over in the physical view, it has added that card to our project. That's exactly what we want to see. Let's go ahead and do the same thing for the digital output card. So what we have here for the digital output card is the X20 DO8322. Again, once I enter that in the search bar, it comes up down here. Go ahead and double click on that. There you go. We've actually added both of these cards to our project. I highly recommend saving our work. So go ahead and click save all. Next, we're going to add these physically to our controller. So as you recall, a few videos back, I said it's best to take off the terminal block. It's easier to physically put those on. So I highly recommend taking the terminal blocks off. Next, it's very important to put how we have this in order. We have that on order on our BNR rack. So the X20 DI6372 is what I want to add first, right next to the power supply module. So what you're going to do is there's some tabs on here that line up with tabs on this. What you, what you need to do is you need to line those tabs up and then slide her right in. So let's do that, there we go. All right, I got that one slid in. Now we need to do the X20 DO8322 since that's the next one. Again, line the tabs up very carefully and then slowly slide it right on. There you go, we got them on. Now we can go ahead and put our terminal blocks black terminal blocks back on. That's a tongue twister. All right, just hinge it on there till it snaps in. There you go, and you can snap the other one in. Great, we actually have our physical hardware added to our physical controller. We're physically connected with the ethernet cable from IF2 all the way to our ethernet connector, our RJ45 connector on our computer, and we're communicating Ne and it's powered up. So next thing we want to do is we want to build the project. We want to make add this new project and put it onto this controller. So what we want to do is we want to go over here and we want to click transfer. So go ahead and click that button. Next you're going to see a bunch of blue exclamation points in this window that start popping up here. What it's doing is it's building the project. That's exactly what we want to see it be doing. So don't worry. That's what that's a good thing. Next, this window will automatically pop up, transfer to target. Go ahead and click transfer. Now what it's doing is it's actually transferring the project. It powers off the controller and powers it back on. So all the LEDs that are on the controller will actually turn off and turn back on. Sometimes it'll do it a couple of times. Don't worry, that is perfectly normal. That's exactly what you wanna be seeing. All right, great. We were able to install it without any problems. It says install finished, go ahead and close it. Now the best way to make sure everything is working right is to go ahead and make sure you're connected with an ethernet cable and then go ahead and open up an internet browser. So I'm gonna open up my internet browser here and what we wanna do is we wanna type in the IP address of this controller. So our IP address is 192.168.0.2. Then you need to put a forward slash SDM, that stands for Systems Diagnostic Manager. 
As I said earlier, this is native to every controller. Every BNR controller from the lowest end all the way to the highest end one is hosting this web page right on here. What's really awesome about it is it gives you a ton of troubleshooting diagnostics. So even if you don't have a, if you're not familiar with BNR and you have maybe a machine that came from Europe uh, or anywhere in the world for that matter with BNR on it, you can just make sure you plug in and you're and connect to it with your laptop. You can open up a browser and type in the IP address of that controller and you'll always get this page right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to check on hardware. So go ahead and click on hardware and then notice all the green checks. That's really good. We want to see green checks. Let's go down and click on X2X because that's where we added it in the, the hardware in the project. If you click on that, you'll notice it says X20DI6372 and X20DO8322. That's exactly what we want to see. Now, for troubleshooting purposes, if somebody were to accidentally take one of these cards out like this, and then what we can do is we can see what happens here. It's gonna take a minute, it actually restarts, so it, if you lose a card while the machine's running, it's probably not a good thing, but it's gonna give you some really good troubleshooting information on what to do. So let's, let's wait here, now let's click refresh, that just popped up down here, and notice a bunch of yellow exclamations popped up. It's not green checks everywhere. That means there's something wrong. So if you kind of go down and you click on the IF6 or X2X, you'll notice that there's a green check for the X20DI6372, which is still perfectly running perfectly fine and is connected, but there's a red X for the X20DO8322. That means we, we're not communicating with it. There's a problem, and it just gives you a really good idea of what's going on. I love to send customers to this website, no matter who they are, if they're customers that just have a machine that they got in that they know nothing about programming BNR, this is just a great tool for the maintenance department on how to troubleshoot it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add this card right back on there. So let's, again, like I said earlier, let's line those tabs up, slide it right on there, just like that. Put the terminal block back on, and then it's going to refresh here in a second. Oh, I got to click it. And we're good to go. Green checks across the board. We're awesome. That concludes my video for this week. Thank you so much for watching the video. Next week, I want to talk a little bit about how we would create variables, talk about what kind of variables they are, how we declare those variables and tie them to the input and output cards. And then we're going to make our first program as far as our first ladder logic program. It's going to be really great. So I really encourage you to tune in next week for that for that next video. And if you want, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I, I have all these videos stored on there, step-by-step -step process on how to go ahead and start a BNR controller from scratch all the way up to where we are. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great weekend and please stay safe.